Hi, welcome to the Wiley demo. The aim of the demo is to give you an idea of what Wiley is really about. Now, let's start with a simple Wiley function. This is a function f, which takes an integer argument x and returns an integer. We can see there's a constraint on x that x must be greater than zero, as indicated by the requires clause. The function is simple and just returns x. When we compile this function with the Wiley to Java compiler, we can see that, as expected, there are no compile time errors. Now, let's change the constraint on our function. This time, instead of requiring that x is greater than 0, let's require that the return value must be greater than 0. In this case, we can see there must be an error. If x can take any integer value on entry and x is returned, then the return value is not guaranteed to be greater than 0. If we now compile this function with the Wiley to Java compiler, we see that in fact a compile time error is reported. We can now fix this by putting back in our constraint that x must be greater than 0 on entry. This then satisfies the post condition of the function. And as we see, it compiles without error. This time, let's make our constraint a bit more interesting. This time, we're going to require that the return value must be negative. As it stands, this should return an error since x is always positive on entry. Now, we can satisfy this constraint by simply returning negative x. Wiley provides us with a simple way to define constrained types. For example, here we see a definition for the naturals, which are integers that are greater than or equal to zero. We can now use our new type in all the places we would expect. For example, here we have a function f that accepts a natural argument x and returns it. This is equivalent to the function we saw previously, except that instead of using a requires clause, we have a constraint type. As expected, we can compile this without error. Now, let's make our example more interesting by adding a constraint that the return value must be greater than zero. This gives us a compile time error since x is only guaranteed to be greater than or equal to zero. We can easily correct this and satisfy the specification by returning x plus one. Now, let's create a Wiley method. Methods and functions are different in Wiley because functions cannot have side effects. Methods act on processes and may have side effects. Here we see the main method, which is called when the program begins. This acts on the system process and accepts a list of strings. Here we're assigning the length of that list to the variable y and then passing that into the function f. This requires that the value is greater than one and hence we see there is an error since the list may be empty on entry. We're then attempting to print that the return value to the output stream. We can now correct this error by adding an if statement to check that the value of y is indeed greater than one before calling function f. As we see, this time it compiles without error. We can even run the program, passing in a number of different arguments, and it's only when we pass in more than one argument we see the value is printed. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. You can find more information about Wiley at the website wiley.org.